Hello again. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a solution. It's a homogeneous mixture. And primarily today, we are gonna be working with uh, sugar water. So what, what we're attempting to answer is, can you dissolve more sugar in hot water than, than normal tap water? So designed a quick experiment. This one is one that you can do at home also to kind of show if anything is going to change or not. Well, let's get a little close up of this real quick. So our hypothesis, how will the temperature of the solvent affect the solubility of the solute? So what I'm going to have here is 100 ml of normal tap water. We're starting off with normal tap water, however it comes out of the, I think it's about somewhere between 18, 20 degrees centigrade, somewhere around in there, Celsius. And then we're going to use hot water that's coming out of the Insta-Hot, which is just cooler than boiling. So it's really, really hot. In fact, we're gonna have to take precautions because we don't wanna, we don't wanna touch it. I got my sugar here for our solution. And I went ahead and I masked how much a tablespoon is. So I'm gonna do that again real quick. So I didn't top it off. So a tablespoon is about 15 grams. So we'll just keep up with how much that we can dissolve in, into these things before we start getting it to, to fall out. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna do just my normal tap water. And I'm gonna pour that 100 ml in here. Let's see, what's gonna happen? How much of this do you think that we're gonna be able to put in? So let's put in 15 grams with one tablespoon it's got to be just a little bit over the top 15 grams we'll put that in and we'll start unintended and now we have almost an entire tablespoon of sugar in there. It's fallen out a little bit, but I'm gonna add one more just, just to be safe. Put a little bit more in there. And then and you can probably see some little particles in there. Can you see it at the bottom? I'm gonna give it a really vigorous. In fact, I might wanna get a small whisk to do this. And I'm still getting some of those particles out there. In fact, I'm gonna go get a whisk real quick. Hold on. Well, that did pretty good. There's some really large sugar crystals down at the bottom, but I think we can add another one. So this is number three. I wanna add what, how much I'm putting in. So this would be my third one. I'm gonna whisk, and I'm just gonna stop when there seems to be a whole lot of sugar at the very bottom. See, so you see those, uh, see those experiments with people and they have bags of how much sugar is in different drinks. And you'll see this bag and it's a huge bag of sugar and you go, how in the world can they put that much sugar in this soft drink. Well, we're beginning to find out. 
because this is still dissolving. So we're going to go ahead and put a fourth one in here. Until we get to the maximum solubility of sugar at normal temperature tap water. at that and you can see little bits of particles in there can you see that little bits of particles in there and there's a lot more at the bottom but I still think we can get more in here Settle just a second and see what we got. There's a whole lot of sugar and a very small amount of liquid. And we're getting, uh, some of the sugar is falling out now in very, very tiny granules which tells me we have reached the saturation point. I'll give it another stir or two, see if those granules right there will get dissolved. And they are not. So I'm gonna set this aside. Now we're gonna to have to get the hot water. We're gonna to have to work a little faster with the hot water because we don't want the hot water to uh, to cool off in time for me to go ahead and get this. Let me go ahead and get some hot water. Be right back. So my normal tap water, we topped out at five tablespoons. This is very, very hot water coming out of my Insta Hot. So let's see how much we can dissolve in here. Will it change? I don't know. Will it be less? I don't know. Will it be more? All right. Tell you what, to speed things up a little bit, we'll go ahead and put two in there. It's difficult to see, but with the tap water, the sugar is kind of around the edges of the bottom here. It's kind of neat to see the little grains in there because once you do it and it's clear liquid and you just got big grains, you give it another little stir and the grains go away. They dissolve completely. And then you have a little bit of sugar. 
And now we're ready for another one. This is number eight. We stay together to take over from this. But I don't think we can. Again, I think we can get more in here getting ridiculous. Well, I think we can already start to draw a conclusion on this. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a conclusion, or you're still working it out, because we are at five in the mm -hmm. normal tap water, five number of tablespoons of sugar, and right here with the hot water, and it's still, still warm, it's not as hot as it was, the, the sugar, being at room temperature is taking the temperature of that water down. So we're going to have to work a little fast. This is number nine. And that was super saturated. Kind of like what we did with the uh, rock candy. You want to super saturate. The water with the sugar. And let's see. Let's take a look at where we are now. It's really... It's really thick. How many do we got? No, oh, that's right. You don't talk. All right. We are starting to have some bigger amount of fallout with smaller grains of sugar, which means we're reaching a point where we have reached the solubility of the sugar at this temperature of water. And the temperature of the water seems to be cooling down considerably. I can now hold it comfortably in my hand, which means this water, which was on the verge of boiling, is now getting close. So we can go ahead and make a determination now that the colder water did not hold as much of the solute as the hot water. So as the temperature gets hotter with the water, the more salt or in this case, more sugar, more sugar we can actually dissolve in it. What's gonna happen though, or you can pause the video and make your own determination, is what do you think is gonna happen to all the sugar that's dissolved in the hot water when this cools down? Is it gonna fall out? Are we gonna have some residue down at the bottom or not? What do you think? If you want to write your hypothesis, pause the video right now. Three, two, one. When this cools, we're going to have a significant amount of sugar cooling up down at the bottom. As you can already tell, some of the sugar is already falling out of its solubility. I bet this tastes good. That is sweet. All right, so how will the temperature of the solvent, the water, affect the solubility of the solute, the sugar? The hotter the water, the more sugar was able to be dissolved into the water. The cooler the water, the less. So here we have five spoons at around 15 grams I think in our normal tap water, we got around 45 grams of sugar dissolved in the normal tap water. And 15 times nine, 15 grams, that's 45. And with the water, with the Insta Hot, just under boiling, we got 135 grams in here. We probably could have gotten even more in there had the water not cooled down considerably. So 
So again, if you have any questions, be sure to dojo me or email me or text it to me. Otherwise, we now know that the solubility of a solute will depend highly on the temperature of the solvent that it is dissolving into. Well, until next time, wash your hands.